is the Battle Tower event, guys. Battle Tower is going to be very important because you're going to use all the servants that you possibly can to go through it. They're even actually allowing and unlocking all Ember Gatherings, training quests, all the way up until the event starts. The event's going to start on Tuesday. So you don't, at this point, you don't really have that much time. But if you use it effectively, you can at least be better off than what you were before. As long as you log in, you do get five golden fruit, which would be super helpful uh, during this time. You got until tomorrow at the end of the day. So the pagoda, yeah, that pagoda event. That's right, you guys remember. I'm glad, very glad that you guys remember that. So let's dig in deeper to what exactly this event is all about in particular. So you're gonna have to do the main quest is unlock the new delivery quest and you deliver quests, unlock new main quests. Every time you do a quest, a major quest, your servants are gonna be on a cooldown. I talked about this in Clear Voice EX, but yeah, they're on a cooldown. It's gonna be like six hours, it's a long time, but they have ways you can actually use to speed up the cooldown for the servants. It's called these relaxation facilities. They actually allow you to go in and put your servants here to actually speed up how much time it takes for them to recover. The first time we had the battle uh, tower event was a pagoda event for Setsuban, and we could not, we like really adjust it we just threw them in there they were good after a certain amount of time it cut the time i think by by half but you could actually upgrade this relaxation facility to actually get more of a bonus so like you see how you lower from six hours to three hours this one was just six hours to two hours that's because they actually upgraded their relaxation facility so that's gonna be really good and really useful another thing to note that i didn't really touch upon in the clever one six i'm gonna touch upon now so normally you have a support formation a support spot for someone else to use their servant but not here here you're using all six slots so for the first time you're not going to be able to depend on someone else's unit you're not going to be able to do double scotty double merlin double waiver that's not possible the only way you can get to this event is on your own backs on you challenge quest is required to clear the final singularity but the overall requirement is just clearing fuyuki so yeah even the new people can jump in just uh realize that you'll have to use all your servants you can't be too picky you can't be using only golds you gotta use whoever you got I'm trying to see if anything else i need to know yeah costume paint against the costume here you might have seen it in an advertisement and you might have seen her before in halloween she actually has glasses and she is the owner of the Amazonist.com. She's the Jeff Bezos of this world. It's a very simple Spiritron dress that you will be able to get and unlock here. Uh, it, it looks bad. If you like her in glasses, honestly, go for it. I like her long hair in her third ascension. Plus, I mean, I don't know about you, but I need reactor cores, I need chains, I need gears, I need scarabs, I need all of this. So this is gonna be like one of those things, like if I have a lot of extra stuff, I'll get it. But uh, unless you really like Penth, I mean, just get it for your collector's value and then unlock it at your leisure. I talked about this before, the Therapeutic Spa CE. Uh, going to the effects more, 10% MP gain, 2% MP charge per turn, and 3 stars per turn is really good. You're literally combining uh, a basic fragment and Prisma Cosmo with basic MP gain. So this is good. The only bad thing about it is that it's a split stat. There's uh, HP and attack instead of just attack. If this was just attack, this would be a perfect uh, target for CEs to level up all the way to 100. But for now, if you get all five copies, that would be ideal. It is an event CE, so you don't have to worry about the gotcha. You just got to play the event. Going through all, all the rewards through each and every one of the towers. Because, yes, there's two towers. You get a lot of good stuff. You get all the copies of the CE just by completing the tower event through the first time round. And then you get golden foes, reactor cores, crystallized lore, Caldia Bond Flames, all those things you get here. And the reason why that's important, remember, this CE increases the bond bonus of your servants by 100%. So you're gonna be able to increase your bond by a lot. If you are bond farming, that's gonna be very important. So yeah, no, this is super good, especially considering in the future with server coins, again, like I mentioned in Clairvoyance EX, you're gonna need to have high level bonds for your servant in order to either get them to either 120 or to unlock some of pen skills. So this is important, it's very good. This 100% bond up only works for the event. So unfortunately you won't be able to get that effect outside of it, but during the event, take advantage of that. This event lasts about two weeks. So I'm guessing just before the end of February, and then we might roll into the Valentine event right after that, which is good. Summoning campaign, we have Yasaka Behime, uh, Cleopatra, and Penth. Penth's gonna be on the radar the whole time. 
Uh, these two assassins are okay. They're fine. I know some people have a uh, variety of opinions on them. I my personal opinion, unless these are your waifus, this is a banner that you do not need to roll on. 2022 has a lot of servants. Well, not a lot. It has some key servants that you're going to want to save for. And if you truly are free to play or if you're a light spender, you're not going to want to waste your courts on this banner. Like, there's no, this is nothing new player friendly about this either. So unless they're just a waifu, this is honestly an easy skip. All right, let's look at the cooldown bonuses here. So you get the relaxation facility, the relaxed space after the prologue, which is really good. And as you can see here, each section that you add, a certain servant has a specific cooldown reduction depending on the servant. So like Nero, the Nero and Nero Bride works very well in the beauty salon, whereas Saber and Saber Altar do well as in the sweets corner. So if you specifically put certain servants in the right area, they get a cooldown reduction. I now understand this. Good to know. I'm going to link to this in the description. Here's the interesting part. Uh, Kawaii 5 mentioned this. There's a combination of raid missions in here. So you're going to have, I think, uh, five raid missions. And this isn't, uh, what is it? Everyone has to take part in order to lower the HP value of everything. Yeah, this is just you. So these are here so long as you actually, like, get the HP down to zero. You don't need to do this. You can do this. And it'll be pretty good. So, yeah, no. Honestly, take advantage of that. Uh, you're going to get uh, some bonuses here, some drops. They each have their own unique mechanics, so keep that in mind. I'm definitely going to link this down below, too. And, of course, we have a challenge quest, the big challenge quest. You got Pimp and CEO Pimp starting together. It is kind of insane. They feed it to each other. Uh, if you want to do that, go for it. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> now, in terms of a shop, no, there is no shop for this event. This is literally a test of your account, a test of your Caldia. Can your Caldia handle this? Can you, does your Caldia actually properly level to where you can actually take this on? Because you're gonna need to. You're gonna need to do everything you can. No longer will you be able to uh, rely on your double comps. You're gonna rely on your own comps. So I wish you luck. This starts on Tuesday. Uh, so really good luck. Hope you get the best out of it. If you want any more tips, I'm gonna link to some resources down below. But if you need extra help, if you need any extra service or suggestions that you wanna level, I have a video right here that I asked for Guildfest, the service that you can use to level. So definitely go ahead and check that out, and I'll see you next time.